All right, this is uh, my quadcopter frames. Um, this was the the version two frame that I was flying. I kept it because I liked it. It was really strong. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is actually put it back into service again. Uh, I might try to lighten it a little bit more, but I don't want to lighten it too much because uh, I like the the sturdiness of it. The thing is uh, pretty much bulletproof. It may not be pretty, but it's uh, very durable. Uh, this was the... I took this one apart and I switched the components over to this, which is a wooden frame. Uh, the, the idea was to be, you know, basically just really super light. Um, it's got a plexiglass uh, center section and the board is on there. The speed controls are off of it right now because uh, actually I'm going to take it apart. It flies really good actually. Uh, it's just I want something <clears throat> right now I just wanted something a little more durable again so if I take it out and and trash it a bit uh, it's not going to bust up on me. But this this actually flies really well. It's just not very durable if you're going to smash it into the ground and and uh, get a little crazy with it, which I intend to do. So I'm going to keep keep this frame. Just going to pull the motors off. I'm going to reattach them to this, and uh, I'm going to use the same motor mounting method as the tricopter. I'm actually going to mount these motors with uh, zip ties instead of bolting them on. You can see before they were they were bolted on rigid. So I'm going to put them on with zip ties so that in a crash the motor will just uh, break loose instead of maybe uh, busting the shafts or something. So I'm pretty happy with the way the uh, tricopter is going. So anyways, uh, I'll take the second part of this uh, as progress, as I make progress on it.